You know guys, if you want to see absolute depravity, you should really head over to Craigslist sometime and take a gander. Like, have you guys really seen the misconnections page on your local Craigslist? It is objectively, and probably some of the best, worst, saddest shit on earth. Like, if you really did want to feel better about yourself, you could read a post about a 40s plus mature male who saw a 30s plus mature female over at Walmart. You know, and then he'll say he says something like, oh, you had beautiful eyes, and I would love to make a connection. I am very safe and mature. Yes, because the things that I associate with Craigslist are safe, mature, and not crazy. Turns out that Facebook Marketplace is also pretty much just as bad, allowing you to see what locals in your village are for some reason selling weird items that nobody asked for. Speaking of weird things nobody asked for, uh, free mirror, just come alone to get it. Is there such a thing as a listing with like a menacing aura? Because this one has that. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Mr. Clean is expecting some kind of payment for the mirror. Um, what kind of payment that is, I'll allow you to ruminate on it for a while. I, I love how Mr. Clean is, is trying to be seductive standing there in his underwear. Honestly, as cheap as I am, I, I would really just buy a mirror. I I'll be real with you there. I I'm sorry, Mr. Clean, um, but I'm not going to make love to you for a free mirror. There's a couple of posts on uh, Facebook like Marketplace that are like this, and a reason they seem to be like this is just that these people are looking for excuses to have casual sex uh, in return, giving away free items in the process, which is a weird loophole and workaround because it's not a missed connections page over on Facebook, um, but this is just as bad. <laughs> Antique ice cream scooper. Ladies, I think we all know that's not an ice cream scooper. <laughs> Nor is that object worth an astonishing $50. Like anyone's gonna take a used ice cream scooper for $50, okay. I, I hope they clean that though. I hope that is a clean ice cream scooper. I hope it's not dirty, like put it in a dishwasher, do something. <laughs> Just don't hand someone that dirty antique ice cream scooper. Oh my god. <laughs> I seriously want to know how they came to the conclusion that that is an ice cream scooper. Like, did they test it out? Like, if you tested it out, again, did you clean it? Like, like how do you, like, knowing how that object works, how, like, how do you think you're gonna get a reasonable amount of ice cream? Like, it's just not meant for that. It wasn't built for that. Fellas, I bet you're wondering what that object is. Well, um... A gynecologist uses it, um, and you're allowed to figure out the rest. <laughs> this this object I see no problem with. This is an a, a appropriate asking price, if I do say so myself. I mean, as they said, there's only a hundred million of those on the earth. Not ten, not twenty-five, not a hundred, a hundred million. So it makes sense to sell that for twenty-one million U.S. dollars. Yes, I, I I really do. I see no reason to check that price to see what other people are selling that for. Honestly, I I if that's the case, I could be making a mint off my Pokemon cards. I I am just sitting on a gold mine. I could be a millionaire. Why am I even doing this YouTube thing? I could be selling Pokemon cards on eBay for a premium. No, but in, in all seriousness, like. These people come online with the intent of selling something, but like the absolute stones you have to have to sell an object for such a high asking price is insane. Like who do you think's gonna buy it? You think Elon Musk is just gonna come down from the heavens and buy your fucking Pokemon card? Speaking of people buying um, many things for, uh, I'm really distracted by this picture. <laughs> so is it these multiple bags of onions that are just $5 altogether? Or is it like, $10 for one bag of onions, $5 for another bag, $10 for another, and $5 for another. The shelf life on these onions has to be pretty short, if we're gonna be honest here. Why am I even arguing the validity of this? Like, if you buy onions from Facebook Marketplace, you deserve to get whatever diseases you get. I, I like how there's a $5 dime bag of onions versus the $10 gallon bag. These sizes don't equate appropriately at all. <laughs> and, and you're buying these onions at an extreme premium, by the way, like... You could go to the supermarket and have thrice the amount of onions for a quarter of the price. <laughs> like what, that's 20, that's $30 worth of onion if you bought all of them. Who's buying $30 worth of onion, chopped onion, like when you could chop up onions yourself and probably reach that amount? Whoever sold this or, or is trying to sell this must really think they're clever. And I think a lot of these people that are posting these things and trying to sell them, you know, especially the ones that are like, I'm only taking serious offers, or it's like, oh, I know what I have here, don't try to lowball me. Like, 
okay, Buster, you, you, you know what you have? Like your car is literally on fire and you're trying to sell it for eight grand, okay. So this was not planned at all, um, speaking of fire and cars. So I have a, a couple of complaints with this post. One, that guy in the picture is not Paul Walker. It's The Rock. It's not even signed. It's just it's just a picture of Paul Walker. It, it just looks like a headshot too. It just looks like a normal headshot that you could get for like butt fuck all. And you know, this is saying something because I own every single Fast and the Furious DVD on Blu-ray. I'm not ashamed. You know, they come in a wheel shaped tin. So uh, I, I think I should explain this post right here. Um, you know, I actually didn't find it online. I actually pulled it from a police evidence locker. Turns out the Zodiac Killer is at it again, uh, but instead of killing people now, he kills upholstery. <laughs> Could you guys imagine the other holiday themed couches? Like, like they have to all be different new couches cause, cause he drew on that couch. Just the Christmas couch is just covered in mints or like candy canes and shit. It has like fucking tinsel on it. And it just says jolly in fucking marker. <laughs> Like, the couch is dirty, it has the word murder on it, like, could you imagine having that piece in your home? You know, to be honest, it kind of looks like I'd see it in a, like, a museum of modern art or something, so... I don't know. One man's trash is another man's $40 couch. Brand new Xbox One used a few times, need gone ASAP. You know, usually when I see posts that say, I'm selling an item, I needed to get rid of it really fast. It's usually because it's incriminating. Now, I'm not saying uh, that individual stole an Xbox, but I am saying that there's a probability that that is what happened. Also, why are you selling an Xbox for market value when it's not in the box? Um, you're not you're not giving anything away with it. Like, this should at least be 250. You know, just like, let's lower the price here. Like, come on. But in, in reality, this is probably a stolen object and uh, you guys can probably pick up those very easily on, uh, you know, Craigslist or Facebook. It's very easy. In fact, police do that. They, they check those places. So don't steal, there you go. What happened to turning him into my prince? And it says it's one of a kind. <laughs> and I believe them. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So that's Goldilocks, I think. $25, Goldilocks Frog, Penile Enhancer, slightly used. Okay, so I bet you're wondering, what's a Penile Enhancer? How's that work? How's it operate? What's it like? Well, I've never used one myself. I had to Google how this thing works. And it's a terrifying tool that you put on your penis. It's like if you had like, 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 you know, like a taffy puller? It, it, it operates similar to a taffy puller, but for your penis. So it doesn't actually make your dick longer. It just makes your flaccid penis appear longer. <laughs> it, it's like, it's, it, it is. It's like pulling taffy and it uses water and suction to do that. <laughs> I, I've read reviews online saying how it's an uncomfortable process and it, and it kind of hurts. And, and I'd imagine it would. And also this thing is used. <laughs> I mean, $5 is a steal. Like you, you are probably saving money, but then you're also risking the chances of getting an STI or like some kind of strange super disease. <laughs> also like if, if you're a guy, do you just want to like put your PP like in a penis enhancer that another guy has recently used like that? One is just, it, it, it's still wet. It is still wet. <laughs> there are just some things that shouldn't be done and you should not buy that, but I, I am impressed that they posted that. Mr. Noodles and hot dogs sale today, $15 a plate. Order up beef or chicken flavor. We got, we got a genuine entrepreneur here. $15 for lunch, right? And you got like canned weenies and 25 cents, uh, Ramen. What is that? 25 cents for ramen, dollar for that. He, he's making like a 13, 14 dollar profit there. That, that That's a real entrepreneur right there. I'm sorry, this looks awful. There you go. I'll just say it. I'm just, I'm just gonna call it what I said. It is, you know, it, it looks awful. It looks like something I would cook and eat, which is saying a lot about how I cook and eat. But like, that is disgusting. <laughs> oh my God. Handcrafted mask, $25. Um, of which, by the way, that mask is made of real human flesh. Yeah, I know, right? Metal as fuck. Uh, no, it actually looks like it's made out of the material of a kickball and put together with, what is that, twine? Burlap twisty knots? 
the things you twist up your bagels in as a supermarket. Speaking of art, um, here's $100 worth of vintage pornography. I find this amazing that in modern years, we, we can still have people selling $100 worth of VHS dirty movies. <laughs> One, to post that on your Facebook where like your friends and family can see, that's really sad. But then like two, like the fact that you own a hundred dollars worth of vintage porn is terrifying what are you a serial killer like like literally there's an infinite amount of porn on the internet all right guys so this was just a short little whatever video um in between my uh next long kind of mini documentary thing um because it's gonna take a while uh, and those always take a long time and I still need to pay the bills, so yeah. With that being said, please support the channel by subscribing and hitting the bell. Also, make sure if you really want to support the channel, you can do so by buying some merchandise over down in the description below, as well as following me on Medium, all the social medias, uh, everywhere at FPS Diesel. Go do that. Also, I've started streaming on Twitch now on occasion, so make sure to follow me on Twitch so that way you know what's happening. I also run a podcast with Wild Spartans and Quite, and it's a fun time. It's called Loud Mouse. You can go check it out as well. Um, and yeah, uh, get out of here and don't buy stuff from weirdos on the internet. Mm -hmm.